Before going deep into Spark Streaming, let us understand the scenarios in which Spark Streaming can be useful. Let us say an e-commerce company wants to build a real-time analytics dashboard to optimize its inventory and operations. This dashboard has information of how many products are getting purchased, shipped and delivered every minute. This dashboard will be very useful for operation intelligence. How do we build real-time dashboard with Spark Streaming? Let's discuss how Spark Streaming helps in building pipeline for real-time analytics dashboard. As soon as product status changes, order management system pushes product ID and product status to Kafka. We will discuss Kafka later in the course. Spark Streaming reads data from Kafka. Each row of the input stream contains product ID and its current status. As you can see, the current status of order ID 1782 is purchased. And the current status of order ID 1723 is shipped. Spark Streaming creates one-minute batches from this input stream. Then the Spark Engine processes each one-minute batch and generates the stream of output for each batch. As you can see, the final output of each one-minute batch contains the data on the number of products purchased, shipped, and delivered in that batch. Spark Streaming program runs forever until it is stopped manually or it encounters some error. You can think of Spark Streaming program as a daemon. A daemon is a process which runs forever in the background. Spark Streaming program keeps on reading the stream of input data, creates batches of input data as per the specified batch interval and then generates the stream of output for each batch. You will do the project on building a real-time analytics dashboard later in the course. Sentiment analysis is one of the hot topics of recent times. It is really important for a company to know if users are satisfied with its products and services or not. How do we find out the sentiment of users every 15 minutes by analyzing data from various sources such as Facebook, Twitter, users' feedback, comments, and reviews. Let's discuss how Spark Streaming helps in doing real-time sentiment analysis. Spark Streaming can retrieve data from many sources at the same time. As displayed, Spark Streaming receives data from Facebook, Twitter, and users' reviews submitted to the website. Spark Streaming creates 15 minutes batches from this input data, and then Spark Engine processes each 15 minute batch and analyzes the sentiment of users. For analyzing sentiments, we can use various libraries like Stanford Core NLP. Let us discuss one more use case of Spark Streaming. How do we build a real-time fraud detection system for a bank to find out the fraudulent transactions? If you can build such a system, banks can take appropriate actions as soon as a transaction gets marked as a fraudulent transaction. To build such a system, we use machine learning to train a fraud detection model. We can use Spark MLlib to train a model to detect frauds. Let us discuss how Spark Streaming helps in building real-time fraud detection system. As you can see, Spark Streaming receives streams of bank transactions as input. Spark Streaming creates one-minute batches from this input data and then Spark Engine processes each one-minute batch and figures out the fraudulent transaction using already trained fraud detection model. Uber uses Spark Streaming for real-time telemetry analytics. 
by collecting data from its mobile users. Pinterest uses Spark Streaming to provide immediate insights into how users are engaging with pins across the globe in real time. Netflix uses Spark Streaming to provide movie recommendations to the users.